Oh my god, hey! Welcome back to my Kingdom of Stagey Isolation. First of all, check out the swag. I am wearing my The Shows Must Go On t-shirt that you can get online to help support theatre and the theatre industry on the way back from the COVID-19 pandemic. They have this t-shirt, they have mugs, they have notebooks, they have all sorts of stuff. Check it out, I will drop a link below so that you can grab one for yourself. So today, I am going to be reacting to some new musical theatre again. It's a very special day because it's a brand new song that I have never heard before. This is from a new show called Halls the Musical. So this show is about people going to uni and their experience of living in halls as freshers at university and the people that you meet and the experiences that you have that will be familiar to many people. And this show has actually been written by two people that I went to uni with called Jennifer Harrison and George Stroud. I'm so looking forward to seeing what they have made and what they have come up with together after we spent so much time at uni putting on shows together, being in shows together. They are both mad talents and I am really excited to see this. This is a pretty big deal as well because they've managed to rope in a huge amount of West End talent to help make this super cool video edited by another friend of mine, Sam Diaz, uh, to launch this new show of theirs. Let's watch. Hey guys, I'm making a group chat for hey Grace Muat. 15B. Comment below if that's you and I'll add you in. I lived in 5B at uni. Hashtag 15B. Memories. Oh my god, who even hashtags anymore? One more Hashtag 15B. Comment below if that's you and I'll add you in. I also went to the same uni as Grace Muat. <laughs> Didn't even clock that. Very real struggles. This is cute. Did you know that forty percent of people find their partners at uni or in face? Oh god, not a wing face. You've got yourself a wing woman right here. Hey Olivia Moore. That's a bit cute. That is that is, that is quite keen. It's a solid dungaree look, I love it. I think that's how many shoes I took to uni. Of course you can't, Millie O'Connell, I love it. Such distinct characters already, I love that. And of course, tequila comes up in the opening number. Harmonies, yes. Love it. It's Taryn Callender. My door is always open if you catch my drift, so get ready. I love that it's starting with a group chat. That's such a clever way of introducing these characters. Oh god. Not the aubergine emoji. I gotta see this one through Not many uses for half a degree <gasps> Triggered, so triggered Packed up my life into a case Okay, so what I love about this is such distinct entrances for all these characters in terms of the lyrics, but in terms of the musical style as well It characterises them completely And you already get such a strong sense of who they are and where they might be going with these journeys I'm not gonna slack, I'm gonna make Did I know Sophie Isaacs was Northern? Time I can't quit. Also, hey Cameron Burt. Hey Cameron Burt's arms. I apologise for that, but... Damn. Why do I feel like these two characters are gonna have a relationship? I'm gonna put that right out there. I want to know what's going to happen with them now, though, so that's good writing. I'm hooked. I like structure as well. I like that we had the first trio and then this next trio. <gasps> it's 
Alex Thomas Smith. I walk through that door. They're gonna see me as who I am, not who I was before. Sang it. I'm a bit mad how clean all of their homes are. Hi, Mum. Yeah, everything's <gasps> It's packed. Mateo Johnson. Well, the train was pretty early in the morning, so... No, oh, yeah, I understand it's your job. Now, Mateo was in the original Scratch performance they did in Guildford, because he was a GSA at the time. has always gone perfectly to plan. Never straying from the path that they laid out Doing the best I can <gasps> Such sadness I in his have eyes never felt this way before <gasps> Parental pressure the first time in my life I suddenly feel unsure You've got all the different perspectives represented Of like students going to uni Maybe I'm just scared I feel like there may be an LGBT subplot happening here for one of these characters, I'm really hoping so. Yes, harmonies! Just coral. Yes, Alex. These are some vocal lines. Hello. You need some pipes for these. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, what an amazing group of performers they managed to assemble for that. I'm so impressed. I loved that as a first look. That was so cute. There were so many interesting characters there that I want to learn more about. I feel like you've learned so much about those characters and where they've come from and the different journeys they're gonna have just already in that, what, six minute little snippet there. It's such a good idea for a musical as well. So many people have had that uni experience. So many people have similar uni experiences. I love that it reflects different kinds of uni experiences as well. Cause like not everyone is all about the like Freshers Week and tequila. I mean, a, a great many people are, but for like, for my uni experience, it was more about like cheesy chips and um, assault. I loved that. It was such a distinct new musical theatre, contemporary musical theatre sound as well. And the harmonies were amazing. I loved the structure of the song, how it came in with each of the characters, with the trio and then the second trio and how like everyone's excited. But then it showed us that other side of people going to uni and experiencing anxieties for different reasons. I loved all of the characters, how they were established, how it gives you such a variety of student life. There's definitely something I think everyone who's had some sort of a uni experience can relate to one of those characters. I think the other great thing about a show like this right now for London Musical Theatre and for Great British Musical Theatre is the way it's going to be able to cast from emerging young talent and drama school graduate talent. I think we're seeing so much young talent in the West End right now with shows like Be More Chill and Six and Dear Evan Hansen. The focus is really on these emerging young performers and drama school graduates. And this is going to be just another show that's going to give so many opportunities to new and emerging musical theatre stars. If you want to find out more about Halls the Musical and their upcoming productions, hopefully there's going to be a production coming in 2021 and a concept album coming very soon because I need to know more about this show and I want to listen to some more of it, head over and follow them on Instagram and Twitter at Halls the Musical. Let me know what you thought of Flat 15B from Halls the Musical by commenting down below and let me know if there's any other new musical theatre or existing musical theatre cast recordings you would like me to react to. Thank you for watching today's video. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel for more stagey content coming very, very soon, including more reaction videos, more socially distant duets, and all sorts of craziness. I hope everyone is staying well and that you have a stagey day.